Hi guys, just before the video starts, I would just like to say about my supporter creator code. So I normally like put it in my comment section or whatever, but I don't really put it in the main bit of my video. But I just like to say at the time of recording this, I only have about 16 users on my supporter creator code. So by the time we reach our next my next tutorial, if we try to hit 50 users, even if you don't buy anything with it, just chucking in really helps me out a lot. But yeah, if you do do that, buy something with it, then all my socials down below that you guys should go follow. DM me on there and I'll make sure to drop you a follow. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video guys. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up DaVinci Resolve. We can just call our project whatever. I'm just going to call it um, Thumbnail Tutorial. But I'm just going to show you guys basically a bunch of just how to do it completely from the scratch, from getting the photo and just getting it and just doing all that stuff. So then what you're going to do is go into your clips folder. I already have one made here, but I'm just going to remake it again. You go into one of your clips. I'm just choosing this clip here. We're just going to pause it. So this is just the normal clip. You might see this in the next highlights for the 1st of February. I think that's when it's coming out. So, <gasps> so it's a very, it's a nice clip. I, uh, I don't know why I'm showing you that, but yeah. Uh, we're going to double click on this. And you see in this pen tool down in the bottom right, you're going to press it and press save photo from video. It's going to take a bit of time to load up. If you're going to see this blue, this blue ball thing here, you're going to drag it along. And just where you want your thumbnail to be, so I want mine to be here, preferably where the number pops out, the name, sorry, pops out the most, and the number. So that's just this frame just here. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to press save a photo in the top right. It's then going to save. You can then exit out and load up your DaVinci. Next step, what you're going to want to do is go into the edit tab. And in the bottom right hand corner, press the settings and just put some really basic project settings in. So if you just follow the ones I've got here, they don't need to be amazing ones, obviously, just some 1080p will do because YouTube normally um, compresses them down quite a lot. So if you just follow the render settings that I'm doing here, nothing amazing, just leave it on the same and just press save. And that's literally all you've got to do. If you do play on stretched res, however, what I'd recommend is um, well, what you need to do is in the image scaling, you need to press um, stretch frame to all corners. This will make sure you have no black bars on the side and just to get a better thumbnail. As, as you see here, in your in your clips folder you will have a moment it'll be called a moment it'll be just next to it you're going to drag that on as you can see here we've just got a photo here so i'm going to show you different few different steps some with sapphire some without sapphire and i'm just going to basically show you a bunch of different ones which you can like combine do whatever you're really feeling with your thumbnail but i'm just going to go through a real broad selection of them and just try to make you guys have the best thumbnails so the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to do a zoom blur. This is just normal DaVinci Resolve. You don't need any plugins. You're just going to drag it on. As you see here, it looks really weird. So we're just going to adjust some settings in the top right of Open Effects. I know some of you guys don't actually see this tab. So all you've got to do, you'll be normally on like metadata or mixer. But basically, you just press the inspection in the top right and it will come up. And then from video, you just press Open Effects. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to change the blend, adjust the blend depending on how much. Change the zoom depending on how much but i recommend not changing the zoom too much because otherwise it can make it look really quite blurry so i'm just going to adjust some settings here just trying to find the perfect amount i'm going to decrease the zoom a bit let's try find some i think this is perfect it doesn't give too much but it gives a little bit of effect where it makes it really really nice um i'm just going to increase it a little bit more let's have a look i'm just going to try from the perfect sense I think this is fine. This should be perfect. If you want to copy these settings, you're more than welcome to. But I'm just going to leave that for that now. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a glow. And I'm actually going to show you guys a really, really good effect that you can do, which makes it even better at the end of this. What's good at the end of it? So if you stick around, then I'll be able to show you guys. Okay, right. So settings for this. You can. It really does depend on the clip, depending on the brightness of your, um, depending on the brightness of your clip, your color blind settings and stuff. But if you want to roughly copy what I've got, you can. It's really it's really just messing around with the stuff. You guys will understand once you start doing it. But you don't really want too much of a glow on this. Because otherwise it makes it look really, really bright. And it makes it almost unattractive to see. So these are the settings that I'm going to use for this one. Just to shine fresh shield. If you just want to copy these settings, I'm just going to slowly scroll down. Just like that. That's all you've got to do. And that's just some good glow settings for this. For the next one, I'm actually going to delete this glow because I'm going to show you a sapphire one. S underscore glint. We're going to go back to the S underscore glow in a minute. But S underscore glint, this is a really nice one. You've just got to adjust some settings here and it can look amazing, it can. So what you want to do is you want to make it like with glow on the body. But like, 
you want to you can adjust the hue if you want to make it look different colors i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you guys see for example a blue here because it kind of goes with the skin and the shield crack looks really really cool you can drag the size down and move it to the left or the right just like that adjust the brightness just do whatever you really want to do to be honest if i want to move it up down or whatever it's really it's you can do whatever you want with this guys genuinely whatever you want so i'm just going to try find some perfect settings now for you guys and i'll come back to you when i got some all right here are the perfect settings i'm pretty sure obviously if you want to adjust the hue you can i really like this hue it's kind of a golden golden sort it does give quite a lot of um like y no x sorry brightness so if you do want to adjust that just lower this lower the size x so even this this might even be the perfect one it could be so it really just depends i'm just going to leave that just like that and yeah if you want to adjust the hue obviously like i said do the hue shift and you can see you can make it different colors and stuff really whatever you're feeling i'm just going to go with a nice goldy blue one because i feel that that really really work with well with the skin and the shield crack and obviously if you do want to save your project just go into the top left and press save because i know a lot of you guys struggle with crashes and once again in my previous tutorial i mentioned in the playback go to proxy mode and quarter resolution if you do want a little bit more but obviously you're not going to be able to see the full extent of the thumbnail in this tutorial so i am just going to turn that off okay for this next tip what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you another sapphire one s underscore glow you're just going to drag this on i'm actually going to remove the glint because i it's going to look very very weird without it and i'm just going to put up what a uh, preset now i am just because um i'm just going to adjust one of my presets just because i don't want to show you guys because it is you can basically use the same sort of stuff you use in your clips for this but i'm just going to pull up up right now real quick and i'll show you guys once it's finished so these are the settings that i'm going to use for this obviously with on its own it might not look the best but if you add something like a glint like i showed you a second ago you can really really make a really cool thumbnail if you just layer these on top of each other obviously you don't want to have too much but if you see i can literally just mess around for a little bit and you can create a really 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 cool effect you can but it's just a bit of trial and error if you save some of your presets for example using power bins and stuff just so you can layer up you can literally just smack that on and you can make a thumbnail within a minute and rendering it out again it's so so easy but these are just this um, glow settings. I'll just slowly scroll down for you guys. It's nothing major. It's just a really small, nice glow. If you want, you can go into the color and just adjust the amount, the color that you want to use. If you want to do a blue one, I really recommend the bluey turquoise one. That looks really nice. I'm actually going to make it a little bit more blue, just like that. Look how cool that looks. It looks amazing. So anyway, sorry. Here are the um, settings. If you feel need to, just pause the video, go back down. But they're just some really cool settings for thumbnails. Um... And now I'm going to show you another new one. All right, so light rays. Um, not many people use this effect, but when it's used really well, it can it can be used like amazing. So even just like this, with just some really small thing, you can see it comes from the top. For example, if I go back and get the glow back on, and then I drag some light rays on the top, and I can just layer these on top of each other. I can like this. It looks amazing. It almost seems like something is coming from heaven. You can see the gold. It's almost like gold's raining from the sky. And you can adjust the brightness depending on how much you want it to be. I'm just going to delete the glow just so I can show you guys the individual light ray settings. And yeah, so basically what you're going to want to do is you want to just adjust these depending on the clip. It completely changes. If you want pure light rays, then I recommend sort of these sort of settings. You can adjust the Y and X position depending on like how you want it to like look down on the clip. And yeah, and the play bend obviously just um, adjust how bright it is. But then again, you just want to use like stuff like brightness and stuff. So that just looks, I'd probably say the perfect is just like this. But it really does depend on the clips. If you just mess around with them settings a little bit, it should be fine. Also, if you want it a bit longer, you can just do something like that. So that really beams down on it, just increasing the length. But finally, here are just the settings for these, just scrolling down. And now I'm just going to show you the um, final perfect, like the really secret setting. Well, not really secret, I would say, but a really good setting for you guys that you can definitely use if you have Sapphire. Looks amazing. So in Open Effects, what you're going to do is you're going to search S underscore sharpen. You're going to drag that on there. As you see here, it looks really weird in a moment, but I'm going to show you some a really, really cool um, bunch of settings that you can use to make your thumbnails look so crisp. Okay, so these are the settings here I'm just going to show you. What I'd recommend if you do use this setting is turning down the zoom blur a little bit because it can make it look very, very weird. And also maybe using a glint, like I said, with like, if, for example, if I drag on a light rays and I turn it to like a more of a 
bluey color I can do something like that just to make it look more prominent just here because otherwise it'll look quite weird but the sharpen settings anyway I'll just scroll down just a bit slowly just like that it's literally just that that's it you can adjust this depending on how much you want I personally find something like this is the absolute perfect amount it looks quite weird in the top right hand corners especially on this but when it fully renders out in YouTube and stuff you can't really tell a difference but anyway that's going to be it for the video if you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe because it really really helps to grow for my channel out a lot and i really appreciate all you guys and make sure to use code adam-eu in the im shop to um to help me out anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one